Hi, I'm Evie, and in this video, I'll discuss working with large models in Trimble Connect for HoloLens. As you can see here, I have the model of the entire floor that I'm standing on in front of me, and since it is such a large model, you can see that some of the inside furniture has been simplified or optimized so that the more important features for knowing the layout are there. What we're going to do now is work with our section box tool. This tool allows you to crop the model down to the area you're most concerned with. So I'm in the southwest corner of this building, so I'll crop this model just to the southwest corner so that we can get those inside features. So I'll go to Menu, Navigate, and Section Box. And when you open a large model like this, Trimble Connect actually automatically detects that you might need to section your model and will open the section option for you. So you can section there and then enhance the model later on, or you can enter the section box manually the way I did. So now we'll go ahead and enhance the section of the model. And now we have this quadrant and we're ready to exit the section box mode. So now that we have the section of our little area, I will go ahead and align to this room. Say connect done or air tap, air tap on the first wall, air tap on the corresponding wall in the model, air tap on the second wall, air tap on the corresponding wall in the model. Alrighty, now I have my section all aligned, and I just want to note that if you ever have a hard time accessing one of the gizmos in the section, you're able to use two hands to manipulate the model. You can make it bigger, smaller, move it around. If you can't access the gizmo or if you need a different perspective on how to section, you can always use the two-hand manipulation to move the model around. Now we're going to go to our second form of manually working with large models called fishbowl. What fishbowl does is set a radius around you, and this radius enhances everything in your radius and simplifies the things outside of your radius. You can also change the size of your radius and settings, but first let's go ahead and turn on our fishbowl and navigate here at the top. So now we have fishbowl on, and as you can see that last cubicle has actually gone away. And as we get closer to it, you can see that my radius is increasing and starting to include the wall and this last cube, and those features in the model are starting to update as I walk towards them. This allows you to optimize what the HoloLens can see and what you can see through your XR10. And you can see that radius extending along that wall. And we can turn fishbowl off. And if you'd like to ever change your radius of the fishbowl to make it larger and smaller, you'll go to Menu, Navigate, and Settings. And here at the bottom, you can modify your fishbowl radius to make it larger or smaller using the slider here. And finally, the way we automatically optimize large models is called bubble mode. What bubble mode does is set a very large radius around you and not make everything outside of your radius disappear, but simplify smaller or less important polygons further away from you. And that concludes my video on how to work with large models in Trimble Connect for HoloLens. Thank you.